I'll go on on the later one too. <laughs> okay, Ulysses. Um, great to finally meet you in person. Thank you. Um, thanks for coming in. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work with you by phone and email. And uh, you picked out the uh, terrific pilot. We just test drove it. What'd you think? I loved it. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, we discounted it to uh, three thousand dollars. And as we agreed by email, um, the payment would be $608 a month for 60 months. Okay? Ulysses, how many miles a year do you drive? Uh, I drive around uh, 20,000 miles a year. I live in Austin, so I okay. drive now. It's pretty much. How long do you plan on keeping the uh, pilot? Uh, I'm probably going to keep it for about four or five years. Okay, let's say five. Okay. okay. That means you'll put 100,000 miles on the vehicle. Do you plan on having it serviced according to the factory recommended intervals? Yes, yeah, especially okay. since I'm driving so much. Good. Factory warranty is 36 months or 36,000 miles. Right. All right. In your particular case, it's going to be about 23 months or 36,000 miles. <laughs> Okay, because yeah. of the way you drive. Yeah. The powertrain warranty will be good for about half the time that you own the vehicle. All right. Ulysses, um, that car is brand new right now. Mm. Smells good. Oh, yeah. Engine's shiny. Yeah. Tires have got 17 miles on them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be one day old. Right. The next day it'll be two days old. In 23 months, it's not even going to be two years old, and you're going to have no warranty at all. Hmm. Okay? This is $680 a month. I'm going to suggest something that's going to sound a little crazy to you. Okay. I'm going to suggest that rather than 680 you pay 780 a month. Now, hmm. why would you do that? Yeah, that's, that's what I was asking myself. Why would you do it? Well, number one, you would do it to protect, to make sure that you've got a, what we call, fixed payment. Okay, right now your payment's variable. Okay. You know, based on maintenance that you're going to do to the vehicle, based on repairs, which we don't, we really can't predict. I hope it's zero, but who knows? Your payment can vary anywhere from 680 a month on the low side, um, if it's just a lube oil filter and tire rotation that might only be 70 bucks so in that particular month which would probably take place close to three times a year that would drive your payment up to seven hundred and fifty dollars a month hmm. okay um, after two years if your power window actuator goes out that would be a, it's, a, it's fairly common hmm. it's not a major repair but let me ask you this. Is 700 bucks a major amount of money? That's a lot. That's my car payment. Uh, exactly. <laughs> except in that particular month, your, pa your, your car payment would be $1,380 a wow. month. Okay? I'm also going to suggest that included in this 780 is what we call gap coverage. Are you familiar with gap coverage? Yeah. Okay. If your car is totaled in the next couple of years, you're going to owe more on it than the insurance company will pay you, which means you'll have no car, but you'll still have to pay your bank four, five, six, seven thousand dollars mm -hmm. It's one of the most irritating things a human being can go through, financially speaking. That, would, that won't happen to you with, at 780 a month. Should you total the vehicle, the vehicle will be completely paid off, okay, regardless of what your insurance company pays. But the question is, is it worth bumping your payment up $100? Based on what I just told you, Ulysses, mm -hmm. would you opt for 680 or 780? I'd still want to take the lower payment. I don't blame you a bit. Here's a scenario I'm going to put out for you. Look, um, everybody knows that even Hondas depreciate, right? Right. Okay, they depreciate at a slower rate than any other vehicle on the planet but they do depreciate. Right. Everybody knows that. What everybody doesn't know is that there's a savings element to every single car payment you make. Here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to write a check for $780 a month to a lender 
you don't want to sign the check and you don't want to send it off either electronically or by mail to that lender. But what you do like is the idea of somebody else paying for a car repair, correct? Yeah. What you do like is someone else paying off a deficiency balance should the vehicle be totaled, correct? Oh, yeah. And what you do like is the idea of coming in, having every single maintenance done that Honda suggests and leaving with a zero bill every single time, correct? Yeah. Okay, so we're, 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 we're sort of at an impasse here. Yeah. I think you're going to like this. Look, this is a $42,000 vehicle. You're going to drive it for five years. You're going to put 100,000 miles on it. Drive it like you intend on driving it. Mm -hmm. At the end, you're going to make your final $780 a month payment. You're going to write that final check or do it electronically. You're going to send it off, and you're going to go, hallelujah. No more payments. Right. What comes back in the mail a couple days later? Uh, the title. And it's a special title because it's called Free and Clear, and it's only got one name on it. That's your name. Right. The question I've got for you is what do you think that $42,000 vehicle will be worth in five years? Five years, 100,000 miles, say 17,000. So you've got a piece of paper that's worth $17,000. You have no payment. Right. And this piece of paper acts like a really expensive share of stock, okay? Could, could you trade it? Yeah. Could you sell it? Yeah. Could you borrow against it? Yeah. Absolutely. Just like a share of stock. Right. Now, um, that phone over there, does it have a calculator function on it? It does. Give me a favor. Divide 17,000 by 60. 283. Ulysses, you know what that 283 represents? Uh, my savings in the car. Every time you, sight, you stroke a $780 check and send it to a lender, on the way to the lender, $283 takes a detour. And it does not go to Mr. Lender. It goes to your title. So take $780, Ulysses, and subtract 283. 497. Ulysses, 680 was nice. 780 was a little higher, but well protected. But the fact of the matter is, when it's all said and done, you're only going to pay on a net basis $497 a month for that pilot and all the protection you'll ever need. I just need your okay right here. That makes a lot of sense. I'll sign it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen that before? Uh, I think I've seen something similar to it, but not, not exactly like that. That's great. If, if I take what you did, and I take what you did, mm -hmm. and I combine it with this, I can't fathom not closing a awful high percentage. I can't that close. Good one, right? I can't close everybody. Yeah. Nobody can. But what again? Both of you did a what I would call you did exceptionally, exceptional job. All right. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to send you guys the word track to this. I'm going to send you the graphics. I'm going to send you a, vi a number of videos of a number of different people doing this, mm -hmm. um, so you can adapt it to your particular style. Right. I don't want you as to be Steve. You can be way better than that. Okay? You're way better looking. You're way younger. Zach, you, you're the same boat. But it takes just a little bit of practice. The numbers are easy. Okay? Mm -hmm. The numbers are real. It's, it's, creating, it's creating the story. Yeah. That's the powerful part.